Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm kicking off a best of brand series here on my channel and I'm starting with a fashion brand and I'm gonna alternate these between fashion brands and beauty brands and I'll probably do these videos about monthly, one fashion and one beauty. Um, and I thought I would kick it off with Anina Bing since I have so many pieces from Anina Bing that I absolutely love. I would say of all the designer things that I own, Anina Bing is definitely at the top in terms of my favorites. I think she has amazing style for those who are not familiar with Anina Bang, uh, she is a LA based designer who I believe is from Denmark originally and she has amazing sort of Scandinavian style meets kind of rocker chic. Um, she does a lot of really great basics, things that you could wear day to night. I have seen her do videos about having a capsule wardrobe um, full of pieces that you can mix and match together that can take you, you know, from the office to out for drinks to your, you know, kids PTA meeting, anything like that. Um, and I just love her sense of style. I love everything that I've ever seen from Anina Bing that she's put out. I just think she's amazing. Um, and I discovered Anina Bing probably about, I would say, seven-ish years ago now um, when I was on a trip to California with my husband and we had gone to LA and I found myself in one of her boutiques and I just wanted literally everything in the boutique. Her style is very sort of um, a cross between clean kind of minimalist basics and rocker chic pieces. I think she herself was in a rock band. She was a singer previously and um, it's definitely reflected in some of her style and I would say that if I had to sort of define my own style, what I feel the most comfortable in, it's definitely basics and definitely kind of with an edge. So I really I am just drawn to her pieces, have been for years, and I thought I'd talk about some of my favorite things. So one of the things that Anina Bing is known for that I'm actually wearing right now are her graphic tees. This is um, one that I actually picked up on Poshmark. You can actually find quite a few of her tees if you don't wanna pay full price on Poshmark, and they are just really amazing quality. They have that kind of vintage feel broken in pre-shrunk, all of that good stuff. Um, and the way Anina Bing has made these sort of cool is wearing it kind of with a jacket, a blazer, a moto jacket, um, so many different things, other pieces that I'm gonna show you that are also favorites of mine. Another piece that I wanted to feature from Anina Bing that um, I think she does so, so well are blazers. And I am obsessed with a blazer called the Madeline Blazer. This is the first one that I had picked up many years ago when this had gone viral on on uh, social media, so many influencers were wearing this jacket and I just thought it was so nice, um, but it was, you know, the look of it that sort of um, got me to purchase when it went on sale and it was actually the style of it and the cut of it that had me keeping this jacket. I will try to insert a picture of me wearing this jacket, but this was the first blazer and I have had many blazers working in an office for like 30 years. Um, I've worn a lot of blazers in my time, but this is the first blazer that I've ever purchased that just fit me right off the rack and was just um, perfection. So it's cut really nicely. It's kind of an oversized um, boyfriend fit, but not super oversized like some of the blazers that are on trend right now. Um, I think it's just a really kind of timeless classic blazer that could take you to the office to, you know, going out for drinks. You can throw it on with a tank top. You can throw it on with a camisole. You can throw it on with so many different things. Um, and yeah, this is the one that started it all. And I've had so many um, of these blazers. I've got another one hanging back here. This houndstooth blazer is a Madeline blazer as well. Um, and I think I have it in black as well. I've got a few different styles of blazers from Anina Bing, but the one that fits me just perfectly is Madeline. And I think it's part of her classics collection because she, she kind of has more kind of seasonal capsule pieces. And then she has certain pieces that come out time and time again or styles that come out time and time again just in different colors or patterns or whatnot and this is one of those pieces and I just absolutely love it and I always know it's going to fit. Um, I do size up. I have this in a medium. I'm somewhere always between a small and a medium and in most cases I do size up um, and it just fits like a dream and it's just like my favorite blazer that I've ever purchased. So yeah, that's my Anita Bing check Madeline check blazer I guess it's called and um, 
one of the first pieces I actually purchased um, from the brand. Another favorite of mine from Anina Bing are her military jackets and the one that I have I think is part of the classic collection. You can still find it online. I will try to find a link and leave it below but um, it looks like this. It's just kind of a classic fit military jacket but again it just fits me like a glove. This is a size medium. I think it does run a little small but it fits me so perfectly. The sleeves even fit me perfectly which is something that is um, very rare given that I'm only about five foot three and uh, it just is like the perfect military jacket. I've had so so many of these over the years and I'm glad to have one now that I feel like is a timeless classic that just works with everything, gives my outfits a little bit of edge and is something that I can throw on with everything from maxi dresses to t-shirts, tank tops, jeans, you name it. Another Anina Bing favorite for me are her moto jackets. She does amazing leather, quality leather pieces and that includes includes her jackets and I a few years ago um, broke down and got this one that I waited and waited until it had gone on sale and I don't think this particular style is available any longer but um, there are so so many similar ones and what I can tell you about this jacket I will try to insert some photos of me wearing it but it is just a really heavy duty soft but durable leather that is amazing quality and it is just such a really um, kind of simple style basic moto jacket but it's got um, cropped sleeves or the length of the sleeves is cropped which is again perfect for me because especially on leather jackets I find it so hard with really long sleeves you know it's almost impossible to get them taken up um, and yeah they, they, I, just the details on everything the hardware everything about this jacket I just absolutely love it and it still smells amazing. Uh, living in Florida, this has not seen much use, but any chance that I get, I do try to wear this jacket because it is, like I said, a timeless classic that I'm so happy to have in my closet. Another thing I think Anina Bing does so well are sunglasses. I'm obsessed with her sunnies. I have quite a few pairs and my favorites are my Larchmont sunnies. These are my black ones. I also have them in the tortoise and they are just, such a beautiful oversized style. These are perfect for like going out in a maxi dress or just any sort of casual outfit here in Florida. Um, I really love large sunglasses and these sort of remind me of those sort of butterfly glasses from Celine. Um, they're just beautiful, just fit me perfectly, really great quality and uh, definitely something that I think Anina Bing does so well. And I love the case even that they come in. It's this little faux leather case that um, not only is great for sun glasses, but I have used this as a little cosmetics pouch in my bag. I've used it um, almost like a wallet just to carry some cash and cards. And um, it's got a really great sturdy zipper on it. Again, the hardware on everything she does, all her leather goods is amazing. Um, and so, yeah, really, really have enjoyed these glasses and um, all of the others I have from Anina Bing and definitely another piece that I would say is a favorite of mine in my closet. And the last piece that I have in my closet from Anina Bing that I'm obsessed with are her handbags. I am just such a sucker for Anina Bing handbags. Um, I recently got myself this I think it's called the Clio bag in the black um, leather and I also have it back there in the camel color. This is just an amazing bag, great quality for money and definitely um, one that I think is minimal but and classic but yet um, has a little bit of kind of edgy chicness to it as well. And then I also picked up last year several of her ba Nico bags which I think are just so so cute. This is probably one of my um, favorite handbags that I've like ever seen. <laughs> this is one in the fishbone print that I also have a matching blazer that um, in the fishbone print that doesn't get a lot of wear just because I live in Florida and it is a heavy kind of wool blend blazer but this is just such a cute kind of tweed looking um, bag that you can wear on your shoulder, you can wear it um, just as a on the crook of your arm or just as a little handheld bag. Really, really cute. I have it in several different prints and patterns. And then I just have one of these. This is the Nico Mini that I am super obsessed with and I wore quite a bit um, during the holiday season. This was one that is just so great to just throw in your essentials and go out for an evening. I use it more like that, like a little small evening bag that I just like to carry in my hand and it's just really, really super cute. And um, yeah, another one of my favorites from Anina Bing. 
So those are some of my favorite pieces from Anina Bang that I have in my closet. I do have one item that has been on and off my wish list for many, many years, and that would be the Charlie boots. I think Anina Bang does really great kind of rocker chic boots, and um, the Charlie boots in particular with the studded detail, they come in silver as well as gold. I think they are super cute, and I would definitely love to get my hands on a pair. I don't know what's been stopping me. Um, I think it's probably that I wouldn't get a ton of use out of them, but they are something that I have loved for so so long that I know I will continue to love and they definitely suit my style so um, I am going to keep my eyes out on the pre-love market for those if something comes up in my size but otherwise um, yeah those are my favorite pieces I hope you enjoyed this video I will try to um, leave all the items that I mentioned in the description down below and if you have any questions let me know in the comments otherwise thank you all for watching and I will see you soon in my next video have a great day